Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me for pricing. Email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. In 2012, Erfurk and MBNF launched a collaboration that wasn't properly an MBNF or an Erfurk product, but rather a new brand for limited distribution through some Erfurk and MBNF retailers. And the brand, with the chemical name of nitroglycerin, was C3N5H309. And this is its second model, launched for 2013 in 12 pieces. It is the Experiment ZR012, black zirconium, high Highly scratch resistant, and as you could see, evocative of both Erverk and MBNF designs, the watch is large. It's 55 millimeters from end to end. Across the wrist, if we include the large extensible lugs, it is actually 47 millimeters and it's 15.7 millimeters thick. It uses a 28 millimeter strap sizing, so if you have this watch, you'll want to get factory straps or you will want to get custom straps cut in 28 millimeters. Now taking a look at the watch, you can see it is huge. And that's pretty much how it wears. We'll throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. Think large Richard Meal, Hublot, King Power, that sort of thing, big watches. Uh, I wouldn't say it's impossible to wear on a wrist of my size though, because the way one half of the lugs are articulated, you can actually fit it on a wrist of 15 centimeters circumference, but it's gonna take up a lot of real estate and it's gonna announce itself. So if you're looking for discretion, go elsewhere. This is not for the bashful. You can see how it arcs down and around my wrist, so even though it's huge, it does fit on a 16 centimeter circumference wrist as you see here. That said, it's really not a thin watch, and even with a domed bezel and a dramatically cambered sapphire, it's probably not going to fit underneath many cuffs. Here it is from over the top. It is arcing out over the edge of my wrist. Keep that in mind when gauging proportions. Are you a big pilot type guy? 44 millimeter offshore, this is your type of watch. Now the strap, as you can see, is in outstanding condition and it is a Jean Rousseau custom piece that we had custom made for this watch in its correct size. So you can absolutely get aftermarket straps. Calf skin here, you can see it has a folded edge, substantially bolstered with a monotone black stitch and a matte finish. We have a deployment clasp here, and you can see that it features the fire logo of the now defunct, or at least dormant, C3N5H309 brand. That said, MBNF or Erverk will guide you through service. It is not a problem to get this watch service today. It uses the GNF Chatelain Leaf Spring Deployant Clasp. You've also seen it on many Richard Meal models. It is made of titanium. It snaps shut. It is quite secure. And it has the name as well as the logo of the brand on the underside. Rolling back to the case, you can see it's all of matte finish. The lugs about the crown double articulated. So you have that one pivot, but then you also have the pivot of the strap. That aids ergonomics. So while it's a big watch, it does hug the wrist, wrist and it, it really does sit quite secure. Some big watches feel like they're teetering on your wrist. This one sort of hugs your contours. Uh, the opposite side, though it does appear to be pivoted, does not articulate. It has conventional hinged strap. And then there is the matte finishing of the case, all of which is zirconium. And of course, you can see this is the Experiment ZR012, their second watch. The first one launched in 2012. Limited edition of 12 pieces in black zirconium. There were also 12 more in standard silver zirconium. There's a power reserve indicator on the reverse side of this watch and we may as well charge everything up. The power reserve on the reverse side is illumined, but then so is the scale that allows you to read the time. And you can see that the name of the brand is also loomed on the dial. Don't know how well you could see it, but the carousel bearing the time telling indicators also moves in the dark and looms in the dark. Well, let's take another quick look here. You can see the crown. It is a screw down. Everything here is 30 meters water resistant. So while it's got a robust screw down crown, that's really more to avoid accidental setting of the time rather than submersion in water. Do not submerge it. The watch has a 39 hour manual wind power reserve that you'll activate using the crown and then monitor using the power reserve indicator. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour and it pivots on 42 joules. But the business end of the movement is on the dial side where you can see there is a sort of rouleau triangle acting as a tribute to the Felix Vonkel rotary engine uh, featured on NSU and Mazda cars most famously as well 
as some motorcycles, including by Norton. Uh, the rotary is a rare engine form, and a rotary time teller doubly so but it is fairly easy to read. Now you have an index at the base. You can see it's a highly layered apparatus. There's an index at the base that points to the hour. Then we have a scrolling minute display, so I may as well get the index into one of the easier hours to read. So right now you are looking at the index that is on the scale for the minutes, and you're reading the, the minutes, so that's 30, and then you can see the hours from four to five, we're in between them, so we're looking at 4.30. And now we're looking at 4.45, and now we are looking at 515. It's that simple. It really is quite natural to read. It's a scrolling scale rather than a set of moving hands, and it is an absolute ball to play with the watch. It is objectively just a lot of fun to observe its operation. The idea here was to pay tribute to the Vonkel engine, yes, but I also feel that uh, there is a little bit of a nod and a wink to the Nordzeit machine watches of the late Daniel Nebel, who was really the pioneer in this type of multi-layered geared time-telling system, whereby the indications for the time move all around within and without the dial across a variety of tracks and scales. And this is very much in the vein of what he did first, so I'm going to give him a little bit of credit for this product, as he was almost certainly one of the inspirations. The timepiece is rare, large, visually spectacular, and an important collaboration from two of the most important independents and most pioneering independent brands of our time. The name is the chemical name for nitroglycerin. The watch, however, is easy to understand. It's just flat out cool. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.